Hello, my name is Lane Barnes. I'm a junior studying computer engineering and I am enrolled in 332 and 312. I am not enrolled in 342, so I will not be talking about the EMAG perspective. I will be talking about the transmission of radio signals and the linear systems and microelectronic perspectives of this device. I will be walking through each step and giving details on each component of the device. The first step of transmission process is receiving the audio signal from the analog to digital converter. After analog to digital conversion, the amplitude of the signal will be too small to handle, so we must amplify it. To amplify the signal, we use a common source amplifier. The amplifier is carefully designed such that the gain is big enough to produce a usable signal and that the swing is good enough so that our VN can have a large range of amplitudes before throwing the amplifier out of saturation. One of the most important components of our common source amplifier is our load. We need a big output resistance such that when we produce a large current from the amplifying transistor, we can have a large voltage drop at V out. The best load with our best output resistance we can have is a current source. The current source will be a current mirror. The current mirror is a circuit with two transistors with their gates connected such that the current flowing on one side will be mirrored on the other side. This allows us to have a large transconductance and a large output resistance, which is key for having a large gain. After our signal is amplified, we must put it through a mixer. The mixer is a device that multiplies the signal by a carrier frequency such that the product signal is unique and can be differentiated from nearby signals. Every time you are listening to a radio and you change the channel, you are selecting a different carrier frequency so you can pick out a specific signal from the rest of the radio stations. When the audio signal is mixed with the carrier frequency of omega naught, the audio signal has a very large frequency shift by omega naught. The result is two copies of the audio signal are now located on the positive omega naught and the negative omega naught. Now when the signal is transmitted, only radios with a specific bandpass filter can receive the signal. The actual mixing process will vary from the type of radio you want, whether it be frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, or phase modulation. The mixer contains what is called a local oscillator in order to produce the carrier frequency. The local oscillator uses something called an LC tank, which is a loop containing a capacitor and an inductor. A property of the capacitor is that it allows current across it immediately, but resists change in voltage. The inductor allows an immediate change in voltage, but resists the change in current. If a power is applied to these two elements while they are connected, they will each take turns holding the respective fields and converting back and forth from electric field and magnetic field. The current across the capacitor will oscillate at the resonant frequency of the LC circuit. Because of the LC loop is mostly reactive, the power loss to produce the signal is small. However, the inductor can have a small resistance that consumes power, so the loop has to have a constant power supply. We do this by having two amplifiers feeding into the gate such that every time the local oscillator falls below its max amp amplitude, it gives it the boost it needs to remain constant. This AC voltage is then multiplied to the audio signal using a transformer. The product is our fully mixed signal. To get our mixed signal ready for the antenna, we must amplify its power using a power amplifier. The power amplification process is the same as earlier, except the gain is much bigger. The last step is to put the signal through a bandpass filter. The bandpass filter is necessary to attenuate the noise surrounding our main signal on the spectrum. The signal is then emitted by the antenna, which is an EMAG topic, so I will stop my discussion here. Thank you for watching.